Welcome back to Tile for Repairs. How do you fix P0138 bank number one sensor number two? Bank number one is always on cylinder number one side. And sensor number two is going to be located after the catalytic converter. How do you fix P0138? To fix P0138, I always start by inspecting the oxygen sensor. Make sure the oxygen sensor wire is not touching the exhaust system because this can cause the wire to burn. Make sure the connection is tight and make sure it is not loose. And make sure there is no damage to the wires. When you're getting P0138 circuit high voltage, that is going to be caused by maybe a rich condition. So make sure you check the fuel system. Make sure you don't have a bad fuel pressure regulator. Make sure you don't have a bad uh, fuel pump. Make sure the uh, fuel pump module, make sure that did not fail, and so on. When you pull out the oxygen sensor located on bank number one, sensor number two, that is going to be the downstream oxygen sensor. And when the tip is coated in black suit, this can trigger P0138 caused by a rich condition. When you're getting P0138, what symptoms should you expect? Well, you're going to notice poor gas mileage, you're going to notice rough idle, you might get an engine misfire, you're going to notice the engine might stall from time to time, and you're going to notice poor acceleration. The fastest way to check for a bad downstream oxygen sensor is to use your scan tool and go to live data. Next, go to the oxygen sensor section for bank number one, sensor number two and make sure your engine is warmed up before you can trust the data. A good downstream oxygen sensor or sensor number two oxygen sensor, the number should not fluctuate that much. It should be close to 0.45 or close enough. As you can see, this number is pretty steady. If the number fluctuates a lot and it jumps from like from 0.1 to 0.9, and back to 0.1 and 0.9 that could be a sign that the oxygen sensor is becoming lazy and it is failing so here i'm looking at the data 10 minutes later and the number is still steady so the downstream oxygen sensor is good for this vehicle before trusting the data 100 percent make sure you don't have an exhaust leak and make sure you don't have a bad catalytic converter I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.